<laughs> this is the first time I have to mix our feed. Come on, chicken. Welcome back, my family. And next video. Yeah, so I'll be sharing with you today some animal. Don't know what type of animal I'm going to see, but I'm at the animal farm, you know, just outside of Montego Bay. I'm not sure how many miles are kilometer, but it's local in you know, my local area. And you remember before my first ever video on this channel here, it was, you know, doing the rafting at Leite. This time it's not so far from there, so we are going to see animals and also, or maybe. Uh, there are some river rafting I did not know there was rafting along here as well so if you want to do rafting this is a reasonable place and it's not so busy like other places so if you have not seen this channel before remember my name is Hugo I go yeah so we are going to go let's go today again more vibes again every time we come on the, the, this channel it does pure vibes anyway and it's a jamaican vibes anyway see all right so we're gonna take a stroll right down there yes my family so i'm at the animal farm now you know and i'm gonna take a little tour and I have a tour guide right here and her name is Kim so I don't really more prefer she introduce herself as the main tour guide and the only tour guide here, right? Yes. <laughs> so. Hi, my name is Kim, welcome to Animal Farm, the home of the Rasta Fowl. Here at Animal Farm, our main activity here is agriculture, which is the rain and breeding of not just birds, but the animals we have are like pigs, cow, sheep, goat, snake, crocodile, rabbits, guinea pigs, ducks. So it's a whole variety of birds and animals that we have here. Also the light we use here on the farm is from the sun which is solar. The gas we use here is from the pig waste which is called the biogas meaning we use the pig waste to make gas here and we have a special type of fridge that we use from it as well. Also, the water we use here on the farm is from the Great River which we use a solar pump to pump it from the river to a catchment and then we use a gas pump and pump it to the tanks and it gravity feeds down on the farm. The Great River is mainly for rafting, kayaking and tubing. Also the farm is an eco-friendly farm, it's a self-sufficient farm and it's off the grid. So welcome to Animal Farm. She have said all right, and here one thing she have mentioned just now, which is my biggest phobia, right? <laughs> Snake. <laughs> no other animal apart from lion and, and those type of big thing we want to eat me, but the creepy crawly thing or uh, uh, spider those type of thing is not a problem. But when you come on to farm room to snake, any of those long creepy something there, no, I'm afraid of it. Oh, these are. We have the PN. So chickens are coming from all over to feed. So these are guinea fowl, right? Do you know how many guinea fowl are there? This is not the half of it. Oh. That's a P N. That's a peacock over there. Oh. A P N. Oh, so that's the the female. Alright, so we are going to see the pigs, so we are going to enter on the Eckers Lane. <laughs> so it's a nice little walk here, you have much shady here. Mm. And this is our food that we call the black walnut. Black walnut? which most people call it the brain food. 
So you man eat this as well? Yes, they eat it. You just crack it and eat it like that. So this one, all right. That's one candy. <laughs> this is the first time I see this one here. Oh, oh, this something look like a bitter thing, right? Is it's it not, bitter? No, it's not bitter. <laughs> it's not bitter. All right, so when it on the tree, it is a green ball. Mm -hmm. So it drops underneath the tree and then it stays and get dry. So this is just one layer. So what it. about this part? You this is the outside. Eat? No, this part cannot eat. Oh. I got to try it a little later. And then you have another, another layer. set of layers. So, so this is it. So this is the one want to eat, yeah? Yes. So, so can you try to eat now? <laughs> Mr. Greedy here, you know. See? <laughs> but you have to crack it. Oh. So it's a part. Mm-hmm. You eat. I don't know why it is here. You know, nuts is my thing, you know. I eat all your nuts, them. Yeah, you know, we love nuts. You see, she eat it half, I don't give you no more. <laughs> <laughs> It's very nice. Anyway, I have one anyway. What do you say? This is a brain nut? Yes, mm -hmm. so a right. black walnut. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so going to see the ducks, chickens. Mm -hmm. Also, we have some huge spiders over here, which are called the golden silk spiders. Well, as I say, my phobia is snake. Spider, not a problem, but still, I wouldn't like one jump into my shoulder or my, my neck. <laughs> yes. These are the ducks. These are ducks and chicken. Ducks and chicken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which one are your ducks are water birds. Mm -hmm. So they have to have a big pond area where they can go and swim. Yeah. There we have is our star fruit, which you know star fruit is not in season now. So it's a two color fruit. Mm -hmm. So it has a purple skin, I wouldn't say black. It has a purple skin and a green skin star fruit. And this is a, <coughs> sorry, the only fruit that has the color, the leaves, it has two colors. On the top it is green and underneath it has a brown color. The only fruit with a two color leaves. Mm -hmm. Here we have also the egg fruit plant as well. Yeah, so this is a very big property. Uh, you know, just walking around and seeing. I did think it was a smart place, but no realizing. Yeah, it's quite a big property and it's mostly hill and valley then. Chickens. Common chickens. This is where we get our common poles, the eggs. Yeah, oh. So you call this the free range, that's yes. what they call it. <laughs> Alright. This is my big baby, mm -hmm. Molly. Molly. So I had Molly from she was a baby. Oh. So the mother was in a pasture, so she gets entangled with current wires. And, just and that's yes, That's how we lose the mother. Mm -hmm. And then this farmer had her and we went and get it and every morning I have to mix her feed. Like I mix a baby feed. Mm -hmm. One morning. Mm -hmm. Decide not to use the warm water to mix yeah. her formula and she wouldn't drink it. <laughs> we bought a special bu cup bucket and she wouldn't drink it. I have to use a nipple bottle and feed her twice a day with it until she gets a little bigger can eat on her own. So how old are this cup? Molly is six years old. Six years old. Six. And she don't eat off the ground. Mm. <laughs> See, I have to feed her from my hands yeah. or from a basin. If you throw the feed on the ground, she's not going to eat it. Mm -mm. So you are going to eat it all by yourself, yeah? Yes. Not saving none for the other. No, but <laughs> yeah. she do put her mouth in there. Right, down in there. How many times do you feed it a day? 
Well, what? Well, she get dry grass in the morning, mm -hmm. and in the evening, she gets dry grass. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So this is our biodigester system. Mm -hmm. So this is where we get the gas on the farm to use. So you have the piggery up the top there. Mm -hmm. So when we wash the pen, everything comes down. Come down here, so. In here, you can see them. Mm -hmm. Everything comes down in the inlet tank. Yeah. So this is where the gas is produced. This is a sludge. Yeah. And that's a gas line at the back. So that goes all the way to the house where we are coming from. So nothing is added to it than just the pig waste that is added to it. Over here now is where we have the overflow tank. Mm -hmm. You can see it's working. You can see the small mm -hmm. bubbles. Mm -hmm. They're working. Here is what we call the drying bed. So basically this shouldn't have any water in it or anything. It should be a drying bed. So this is where we would reap the manure from and use back here on the farm. Over here now is what we call the wastewater. Mm -hmm. So this is where the wastewater goes into so the uses of biogas, cooking, eating, and lighting. So that's the purpose of the biodigester system here. See. Right here we have his Napoleon. So if you have read the book Animal Farm by George Orwell, mm -hmm. you will see basically what you read in the book is basically what we have here on the farm. Mm -hmm. So here we have his Napoleon, which is the biggest pig we have here. Snowball. And surprise, you know, it have kept so clean. You know what I think of pig sty, what we call it right. in the days gone by. It's really messy, but look, people, it's clean. <laughs> and this is the second biggest. Yes. And she is snowball. Snowball. Ba -ba -ba -ball. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what we do in the morning basically is just wash the pen yeah. and just feed them. They have nipples. If you look over, there are nipples here. Oh. They, they get the water to drink there. So the water just run and, and they just drink from the, yes, the nipple. Yes, they just put them out on the nipple and yeah. they just drink the water from there. Oh. Look, look, it, it bites off here. You know, you want to get out our... our <laughs> That's what we have to just keep replacing. 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 Mm-hmm. Piggy! You're taking a, a midday early morning nap. You mentioned silky cotton? Yes, silky cotton. Yeah. And you have the West Indian cedar. With cedar, you know, is what we use to make furnitures. Oh, For yeah, example, yeah. For example, beds, dresser, tables chest of jaws and stuff like that but for the cotton mm -hmm. but then you know anywhere you find a cotton tree you know duppy is always <laughs> there <laughs> i know what you mean by duppy <laughs> ghost <laughs> yeah because jamaica here we call it duppy anyway yeah see but i don't know she may be afraid of duppy too because most jamaican <laughs> afraid of duppy too <laughs> yes this is a composed leaf so all our animals waste and stuff. This mm -hmm. is where we store it and it stays there until it breaks down. Mm -hmm. And we just use it back here, back here. on the farm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the benefits of composing that we have here on the farm. So here we have the pair of guinea pigs, which this is one of our, ch our children's favorite pet here when Ooh. they come, the children. Oh. So the guinea pigs and the rabbits are the children's favorites. So when they are here, this is what they love to have, to play with, not, and to feel. So mm -hmm. even notice they're drinking water is a special type of bottle that they have been drinking from. Oh. And so inside here now, this is where we have our quail, which is one of our main business on the farm. Mm -hmm. Our quail, they use them as delicacy in the hotels. Oh. So this is them. They don't get any bigger. This is the full size of them. So you can get the meat here at the farm to purchase. To purchase. As yeah. well. Yeah. Four aqua birds mm -hmm. will give you um it's for three thousand dollars. 
and when it is deboned and the bones are shaken from it, it's six thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. The eggs you can get for six hundred dollars a dozen for the quail eggs. So how do you order that now? If it's freshly here now, I have to order it and someone kill it. <laughs> no, we have on fridge. Oh, on fridge. So this is the quail eggs. That's the egg. Yes. So six of these will give you one chicken egg. Mm. So you mm. can boil, you yeah. can pickle, or you can use to make punch. Make punch. Oh. Okay. How many eggs do you get? A day, a day. Like. Yeah. We get um, from 150 to 200 a day yeah. of eggs that it, we, it. Co we collect for, yeah. for the day. Mm. It, it. And the so. eggs are more richer in protein than the regular than chicken the, head. Yes, than the regular chicken head. Smallest birds on the farm, which is the king quail. Why they must be saying king, king normally would be the bigger ones. Yeah. But the king here on the farm is the smallest birds we have here. They don't get any bigger. This is a full size of them. Is this bird are native to Jamaica? Yes, they are. Oh. Some of our giant chickens here. See the roosters. Them roosters are tall. <laughs> hey, hey, can you see people? I know chicken in our fowl are rooster, right? But I never see one this tall. <laughs> Look at the females. These are the females. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh. These are our silky chickens, or our funky rasta fowl. <laughs> no, they're taking a Mickey off me, right? <laughs> so this is the. Where's the snake? It's in the background. Oh, I cannot even see it. A small. It is a small one. Yeah. Still afraid of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a snake. That was a snake there, but I'm still for that. This is the white rust of falls, which mm -hmm. is the white sultans. Oh. So they are one type of rust of falls. We have the black rusters there. Oh. We have two types. And these rust of falls are the animal farm signature of the farm here. Why is that? Because of the dreadlocks that they wear, so mm -hmm. we gave it that name, the at Rasta Fowl, the home of the Rasta Fowl. <laughs> yeah. These are royal palm turkeys. That's a spider web. Spider, oh, spider web. <laughs> 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 I was just about to walk in the spider web, you know, but I get sealed by King. <laughs> so these are this is Coco. Coco. Coco the goat. Yeah. Billy the sheep. We haven't named the small one as yet. Oh. So tell me something, they all eat the same they type are, of, yes. of food? Yes, they do. <laughs> and they, they don't love when their food is on the ground, mm. so you have to feed them from your hands. Oh. <laughs> inside here now is where we have our giant chicken or large breed chickens. So these are the white fowl, right? No, those uh, are not uh, the white fowl, that is this type of large breed. Not the white fowl that you'll get. Yeah, in no. the, the... Those types of chickens we don't really raise. You don't really raise here. Mm -hmm. Because you know you have to give them things that to boost them up. Oh, and yeah. Because we're yeah. not into that, so we don't um, raise those types of chickens here. Yeah. 
So all the chicken here are organic, more like less than, yeah? Yes, they are. <laughs> Over there, we have is what we call the Chinese ringneck pleasants. So that male mm -hmm. sitting in the water yeah. there. So the in birds, the males always be the colorful ones to attract the females. Right, here we have the smallest chickens in the world, which is the Saramas. They weigh like quarter pound. So think of it when you go to the jerk center and buy a quarter pound of jerk chicken. Yeah. This is what you're actually buying. <laughs> so I look at that liquor. Oh gosh. Look at that liquor. You roost over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't get any bigger, that's the full size of them. Mm -hmm. Over here now is what we call our black meat. Everything about them is black except for the eggs. Yeah? The meat yeah. is black, the intestine is black, the eyes are black, the feet are black, which are called the Ayama ceramic chickens. Mm -hmm. So think of it here. Eating a black meat on your plate. A black. <laughs> Turkeys over there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right, these are our peacocks. So you can see the males are the blue ones. So it's a mulching season time for them now. So they're going to lose all those old feathers. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to see the beauty of them. They're not going to be anything to put on display because they are changing the old feathers and putting in new feathers. So you're not going to really see anything much of much, them. Much for of now. them. They may even look like the female. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh -huh. That's the American crocodile. A small baby crocodile. We had a bigger one before, it was about seven feet. Yeah, we had to change it and get a small one because it was so big for here. Oh, you know, this rooster, them have no manners, you know. <laughs> them all they seem to want to make their nice when we are talking, right? Have no manners, watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we have is the yellow golden pheasant. Just one? Male. There are two males inside there. Oh, oh there's the other one. Yes. And also the female. The female is a dark brown color that is inside. Oh, they share this whole thing. And there we have is our MU. Which are more friendlier than the ostrich. Oh, I was gonna say I'm not going inside here. <laughs> listen, to sound people, listen, to sound if they're not afraid of me. Look, I'm going to a spider web again. And these are for the school children where they come for their little tour and playing. So Kim, can you tell me the history and this place here? Where it started and, and who is the owner? All right, basically the farm, it started in January. It was officially open on the 8th of January, 2000. So the farm, it's 23 years old since it's in operation and it's owned by Dr. Jeffrey Williams. He's the owner of Animal Farm here. Do you know uh, why he would start this this farm here? What, what reason did he ever mention? What reason why? Basically, um, well, talking to him, he said it's our, his hobby of starting Animal Farm here and so forth. So I assume him is a real animal lover to start this farm anyway. Yes, and yes. So he said it started what, 2000? 2000. Yeah, 2000. And, but he already has animal here before he actually officially opened it, yeah? No, he didn't have any animals here at that time. Basically, it, the farm, 
it was all covered in bushes. Mm -hmm. So all the work that is being done here is the one that designed everything, planting of some of the trees here, as well the concrete walkways and everything. He starts everything from scratch here. Mm -hmm. There you go, people. So if you are in St. James area and it is Little Road Cops, right? Cops. Yes, it's Cops anyway, and you want to come to the animal farm, I find a way to leave the description down there that you can find all the information and check it out, you know, because it's not only animal alone, but as I said, the rafting and look at the nature around anyway. So people support the local vibes. I'm a, I, this is my area, so that's the reason why I'm highlighting anyway, highlighting all of these places around my local area, you know. So, what, what is here? This is our reception area. This is where our guests will be seated. Mm -hmm. This is where we'll welcome this is where they will sit and have their meals as well and we have our museum oh. and our gift shop over there mm -hmm. where you can get stuff you can see in the museum you can see some of our old time stuff that we used to use back then but some of them we still use so that's our museum and our gift shop over there this is a cottage near to the riverside. This one is like a dorm. It has four beds inside of them. Compartment we call Hatville. So this is it. That's a bathroom. Nice shower. Yeah. Fridge. Another kitchen over there. Another kitchen over there, yeah. bro. Alright, let's go to the So there's another cottage over there as well, right? Yes, this is Barbara. Yes. And that's Rocky over there. Rocky. So those over there will hold like one person or mm. two persons mm -hmm. that's over that side they have the whole kitchen and bathroom is inside the kitchen you have to come outside walk on steps go down to the kitchen downstairs so there you are if you need accommodation same thing you do the tour or the rafting you know it's right here and remember <laughs> everything just nice because you are out in the nature and actually out in the mountain hilly look over there how nice that scenery is those are just one bed that are inside of those uh, so you see barbara Barbara. All the names that you're seeing here, they are named after family members. Oh. This is Rocky, this is one of his cousins. So, I see him after him. And so, this is the same thing for the information some of these people didn't know about until they get to animal farm seeing the signs and know the real history of Jamaica and where we are coming from Okay, now there we have a 
a small herb garden. Mm -hmm. These are plants and the uses of them. For example, we have our black mint, our fixed weed, shame old lady. Most people didn't know the uses for shame old lady for cold stomach, stomach cramps. Things. So most of these are things that we grow in our backyard. Mm -hmm. But we don't really know the purpose and the uses of, of the them. Plant. But when you come to Animal Farm, then you know the purpose and the uses of them here on the farm. This is a peanut butter plant. Peanut butter? Yes. Can you see the fruit seed right there? Oh, can it eat? It can be eaten, but it has to be red. That's how you know it is right. Oh. The birds, the bird feed, the birds love to bird. eat it. All right, this is called PJ's Avery. You will get a chance to feed the birds from your hands. And if you're afraid of them eating from your hands, you can use a plate mm -hmm. and feed them from the plate. Talk to me. You're the greedy. You're the greedy dog. You birdie. You're the greedy. Look at my teeth. I think I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> Against the light. 